Hey there. Hey, what's up? I just finished eating, um, coming right after school, and I'm about to get changed and go to the gym. So right now, we're about to do like the talking in the car thing again. For a while, I stopped because I just wanted to change things up, but I feel like this is the best to do. The only problem is that my phone moves around since I don't have like something like to just tie it to my car. Some of you may see it on my Instagram story, but over the past week almost, I took a bit, like a long break from social media. Honestly, I felt like overwhelmed and my mental health wasn't that good at that time to be honest with y'all. Not gonna lie, taking this break helped me so much. Like lately I've been reading and I've been so mindful lately. My sleep has been amazing lately. As much as people ignore it, mental health is like one of the most, if not the most important thing. Having messed up mental health would just lead you to like doing things that you shouldn't. When you have a clear mind and when you're able to think good, then it's gonna impact your life so much. You're gonna start doing more positive things. You're gonna start going out and maybe going for that run. You're gonna go put those shoes on and actually run. But for a couple of weeks and even months, I sacrificed my mental health just to overcompensate and do a shit ton of work. In reality, I could have done that work without messing with my mental health. So please, if you feel like your mental health is degrading, make sure to take a break. Stop being on social media so much. Stop watching a shit ton of TikTok. Stop doom scrolling. Stop scrolling until like it's enough. Just stop, just get off. Some things that keep people on social media so much is what I now know as the fear of like not knowing. It's also called the fear of losing out. And honestly, I feel like social media is such a waste of time. Like, if I wasn't posting for y'all and, like, trying to, like, um, like push myself out there more and help people, I wouldn't be on Instagram. I wouldn't be on TikTok because if you're not creating content or learning, then it's a total waste of time. Doom scrolling is, like, one of the worst things you can do. Like, there was a point in my life that I would just scroll on TikTok for, like, an hour or some shit in the morning when I would wake up. It was terrible. It, like, effed up the whole fucking day. Like those were the times that mental health was even worse than it was like a couple weeks ago and also one thing i recently learned is to like at least like one to two times a week go out and do something fun before this i didn't really like going out at all but like as i like as i stopped going on social media so much and getting so much dopamine from social media and bullshit then like going out and like 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 for an example uh, three days ago, I went on a scooter ride, right, at the park, and it was so much fun. Like, even just being on a scooter felt so fun when I'm, like, off Instagram and TikTok and that shit. But, yeah, I'm about to stop by racetrack and get some, like, carb and something to drink because I didn't bring any water, and I need some, I need some carbs to get that good-ass pump. I don't even lie to y'all. Rainy days are my favorite days, like... Like the gloomy weather, it just like looks so cool to be honest. Ignore the shitty hair. It's really late right now. 
but I started my book around October last year and I never actually believed in body dysmorphia or never actually experienced it until now. Even though some of y'all may think that I'm pretty lean right now, I used to be so much more leaner. The good thing now is that I'm a lot bigger. I'm like almost 20 pounds heavier than the year before, which is absolutely like crazy. But unfortunately, I'm starting to notice more fat gain, especially around my face. I feel like I'm starting to lose my jawline. Maybe I'm just being a little bitch about it, but it's honestly tr like starting to hit me hard. Yes, my lifts are going great. I'm getting so much stronger. I'm progressing so much. I'm getting bigger, but it just hits because like for a long, it's like my entire life, I've always been chubby. And I'm right now, I'm bulking and I'm getting more fat. I'm starting to get like flashbacks to the days when I used to be chubby. And obviously they weren't good, so it really hits me. Like I used to be treated so much more differently when I was chubby compared to like right now how I'm treated. And yeah, it's just, it's honestly, it's just how society works. As, as bad as it sounds, I think it's called like the halo effect. Like people treat better looking people better than like they'll treat like below or kind of ugly people worse just because of the way they look which is totally fucked up, but that's just how it is, unfortunately. So yeah, right now, body dysmorphia is really fucking me up. It's making me like, like decide like whether I should continue bulking or just main gain, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Cause like, that's what makes me feel so much better. Like, I honestly don't want to bulk up and get chubby cause that's a nightmare for me, to be honest. I'd rather not be as big, but be, but be pretty lean and have a pretty lean face. Ignore that one hair standing up, but like, the only way I would, like, bulk up and, like, get, like, bare mode, you could say, is, like, if I would grow a beard. But right now, I grow zero fucking beard. Like, I don't know why I don't have a beard right now. My dad has one, but I don't. And I'm, like, 16 now, which is crazy. But I think, like, the only time I would go into bare mode or get really fucking big would be, like, if I grew a beard so I can grow, like, my fat face. Yeah. And some advice for y'all. I wouldn't recommend get, getting too lean. I'd, I'd rather y'all like lean bulk at the beginning of your like workout journey so you can put as much muscle as you can and bulk for like two three years and then you can go in your first cut i don't recommend cutting like often but for me since like i post on instagram and tiktok and i need to look good almost at all times because if not then honestly no one will probably watch me unfortunately so yeah and also me seeing like people that have like the best leagues in the world every day really fucks up with my like perception of like a good physique like maybe i'll look at see but i'll be like holy shit my physique is shit compared to him but like in the real world my physique is pretty good i would say so yeah stay off social media uh lean bulk at the beginning of your like your journey don't worry about being too lean because it really fucks up with your mental health and i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on another one bye